When Feruza Bach was cast as Dorothy Gale in the Disney sequel to The Wizard of Oz, a child star was born via the Washington Post. Since 2009, Chopped has been blessing Food Network viewers with the kind of fast-pasted kitchen competition content we so crave. The show teaches viewers how to sprint for an impeccably stocked pantry, shout, behind, at fellow chefs, and listen to Ted Allen's soothing lull as he gently tells contestants they have, in fact, been chopped. But the show, as it turns out, isn't exactly the best guide for how to operate in the kitchen. It turns out that for the average home cook, there's actually more to be learned from some of the other Food Network shows than there is from Chopped's dramatic music, cutthroat contestants, and intimidating cleaver stuck in that one wall in the kitchen. Bach, who was just nine years old at the time, grew up in an artistic family and took acting classes as a child. So, what lies exactly has Chopped been trying to pass off as hard kitchen facts? And what secrets do the Chopped judges keep tucked away under that tasting table? Let's dig into it. Chopped made you believe the lie that you shouldn't add too many pantry items to a core ingredient where absolutely not saying that you should always add dozens of complex ingredients to a kitchen mainstay, but the chopped judge's insistence that a meal's four basket ingredients make up the core of every dish is not good cooking advice. Yes, some simple recipes are fantastic, but so are complex ones. And just because a recipe has a grocery store aisle's worth of ingredients doesn't mean you shouldn't give it a try. Have a little fun in the kitchen, and try ingredient-dense and complicated recipes like gamjitang, spicy pork neck and potato stew, or enmoladas with Oaxacan black mole sauce. It seemed that she was destined for stardom. As Bach's career continued, everything seemed to be falling into place. She acted consistently throughout the 80s and 90s, via IMDb. We believe in you. Just because the chopped chefs are tasked with making four unique ingredients the absolute stars of a dish does not mean that you, as a home cook, should feel the need to do the same. Chopped made you believe the lie that you need to reach for the ice cream machine to impress your guests in chopped lore. It is common to believe that if you make it to the fateful dessert round, the one thing you need to push your final dish over the finish line is fresh churned ice cream, sometimes combined with very bizarre basket ingredients. However, it wasn't until 1996 that Bach landed a role to rival Dorothy. She was cast as Nancy in the witchy teen flick The Craft, which quickly became a cult classic via Vulture. And as good as a weirdly savory ice cream may sound, it turns out real live kitchen chefs don't actually need to reach for that ice cream machine. After that, Bach developed a reputation of being the dark, scary, crazy girl of Hollywood. There are literally hundreds of desserts that are not ice cream that are just as good. She also was seen in more big films like Almost Famous and American History X. However, even though Bach seemed to be everywhere back in the 90s and early 2000s, she's slowly faded out of the spotlight since then. With the exception of some indie films and an ongoing role in Ray Donovan in 2015, things have been fairly quiet for Bach. Please trust us on this, we've tried a lot of them. So, what is Feruza Bach really up to now? Feruza Bach came from a seriously artistic family Feruza Bach's family connections and artistic upbringing seem to make her destined for a life in the spotlight. But if you can't be talked out of making ice cream at home, there are plenty of no-churn methods to try. Even for chopped contestants, the ice cream machine may not be the best way to go, since as any chopped fan knows, there's only one machine. Ever wonder why they can't just buy a second one? As Chopped admits, the single machine adds drama to the show. Luckily, that drama can stay on the show because you don't need to make your own ice cream as home. Chopped made you believe the lie that cooking fast means cooking well on Chopped, contestants have just 20 minutes to make a dish. In real life, you're probably spending more than 20 minutes just making dinner. And that's a good thing because fast cooking does not necessarily yield good food. She started getting parts in films in 1983, and in 1985, she landed the coveted role of Dorothy in Return to Oz. A slower heat can make tougher cuts of meat more tender and can increase the flavor in just about any dish. By the sound of things, Feruz's family had been preparing her for this early success from the beginning. According to the Washington Post, Feruz grew up in Vancouver in Canada. Not only that, but slow cooking can be easier than faster methods of cooking. Many slow cooking recipes simply involve popping prepped ingredients in a slow cooker in the morning and plating the finished meal for dinner in the evening. On Chopped, a slow braise probably isn't contestants' best bet, but it may be for the average home cook. 
taking your time to cook at home may be able to improve your mental health too. Her mother, Catherine Bach, was a former dancer, and her father was a California-based musician. Feruza's grandmother was also creatively inclined. Feruza once posted an old newspaper clipping of her on Instagram. She was one of the youngest dance teachers in the state of CA, she wrote in the caption. Catherine placed Feruza in range of artistic classes as a child, including dancing, violin, piano, horseback riding, and acting classes. No wonder this young triple threat was ready to step into Judy Garland's shoes in the Wizard of Oz sequel. Starring as Dorothy Gale in the Wizard of Oz sequel shot Feruza Bach to stardom after playing Dorothy in Return to Oz, Feruza Bach's life changed forever. Slowing down and taking the time to cook while paying close attention to the taste of ingredients can help people manage anxiety, whereas cooking the way contestants do unchopped probably isn't the best way to wind down after a long day. Chopped made you believe the lie that you need to make your own aioli on chopped. Using a pre-made aioli can be deadly for contestants in the appetizer and entree rounds, but in real life, store-bought aioli and mayonnaise can be your best friend. We mean no disrespect to homemade aioli, but if you're spending valuable time whisking your own oil and eggs for health or taste reasons when making something as simple as a sandwich or an aioli-based salad dressing, consider skipping it. Because tuna salad with store-bought aioli is just as good if not better than tuna salad with a gourmet aioli. If you do want to exercise your chopped chef skills and make that aioli yourself, be our guest. Consider starting with salt-fat acid heat chef Samin Nosrat's basic mayonnaise, which can be elevated into a more complex garlic or herb aioli. It's perfect for sandwiches, french fries, and salads. But you may want to stretch beforehand, as this recipe is a workout on the forearms. Chopped made you believe the lie that celebrities can't cook the contestants on celebrity chopped episodes tend to be, let's face it, horrible. Plenty of superstars have competed in the reality kitchen showdown, like basketball player Charles Oakley, rapper and musician Coolio, Comedy Central star Sinbad, and high school musical drama geek Lucas Grabeel, and some have been more successful than others. In 1985, she was interviewed by the Washington Post, and she was just 11 at the time. Bach revealed that people had started treating her differently. Her friends at home were asking her, if she's rich now, and she was getting stared at in public. Bach looked back on her early fame in 2012, in an interview with Dread Central. On the Celebrity Chopped episodes, there tends to be an attitude that celebrities, be it due to fame or wealth or maybe laziness, cannot cook. As an adult, Bach had a more nuanced understanding of just how huge the role was. It was massive, Bach shared. I think I was chosen out of something like 50,000 kids for the role of Dorothy, which is still really amazing to think about. Bach went on to explain that as a kid, she'd never realized how popular the film was. But this isn't true for lots of celebrities out there. It wasn't until I was an adult that I realized just how special Return to Oz ended up being, she continued. Throughout the years, fans would send me letters or even these incredible gifts with their stories about what the movie meant to them and I was absolutely shocked. Feruza Bach worked steadily throughout the 80s and 90s after Feruza Bach's career took off with her role in Return to Oz. She continued to act throughout her childhood, impressing critics and filmmakers alike via IMDb. Notably, in 1986, Bach played the starring role of Mildred Hubble in the beloved TV movie version of The Worst Witch, a children's book about a school for witches via The Atlantic. Bach also starred in the 1989 film Valmont, alongside Colin Firth and Annette Bening. In this film, she played a much more grown-up role as Cecile, a young convent girl who is seduced by Firth's character. As Milos Forman, the film's director said to Roger Ebert, I was amazed by this girl, Feruza Bach. He explained that she wowed him in the casting sessions. She was perfect, and strangely enough, she was also the biggest pro of them all, Foreman gushed. Foreman also explained that Bach was just 14 years old during the shoot. Plenty of celebrities are great cooks, and many have even written cookbooks. Of these, supermodel and Twitter personality extraordinaire Chrissy Teigen may be the most notable, especially considering her successful cookbook, Cravings. But did you know rapper 2 Chains can also throw down in the kitchen? Or that musician Questlove has written his own cookbook? Former sister, sister star Tia Maori even has her own cooking show. Celebrities, they're just like us. Except some are much, much better cooks.
Chopped made you believe the lie that forgetting an ingredient in a recipe will ruin your cooking career. It's every chopped chef's worst nightmare. They rush to finish cooking and plate their culinary creation as Ted Allen counts down from 10. The chef wipes stray sauce from the rim of the plate, inhales the aroma, and steps back with their hands up, only to realize they've forgotten an entire ingredient. It seems that after her first roles, Bach was solidifying her reputation in the industry, and laying the groundwork for a spectacular career. Feruza Bach almost didn't take her role in the craft after working consistently for 10 years, Feruza Bach landed the role that would define her career. In 1996, she starred in The Craft as Nancy, via IMDb. However, as Bach revealed in a 2017 interview with Entertainment Weekly, things could have gone very differently. The reason. Bach explained that at the time, she was already signed up to do the film Basquiat. Bach had hoped to make both roles work, but when Julian Schnabel, the director of Basquiat, found out that she was considering doing another role, he phoned her, furious. Fortunately for home chefs, this cooking nightmare is completely limited to the universe of Chopped, and you're unlikely to face it in the comfort of your own kitchen. Even if you do start baking and realize you've forgotten that one key ingredient, there's a world of other options as substitutions. He hung up after cursing me out, and I called my agents and they said, we accepted the craft, Bach recalled. Soon enough, Bach was thrilled to be part of the film. I found the subject absolutely fascinating, she added. And, as things turned out, Bach couldn't have made a better decision for her career. For instance, did you know you can use applesauce instead of eggs in your chocolate chip cookies? Vegans have been doing it for years. Just make sure you're not the unfortunate chef who mistakes salt for sugar. The craft was a massive hit, beating Clueless in its first weekend at the box office and becoming a cult classic. After the craft was released, Feruza Bach became a massive star for Feruza Bach, playing Nancy in the craft alongside Neve Campbell, Rachel True, and Robin Tunney marked a defining career moment. As she explained to the Los Angeles Times, the success of the film was a big surprise. There's really no coming back from that one, even in your own kitchen. Chopped made you believe the lie that you should melt candy down into an edible sauce while this is technically doable even for home chefs, maybe consider not melting gummy worms or candy corn down into an edible sauce. At the time when we made this, I really had no idea it would land so hugely and it would be so influential to people, the actress explained. Apparently, after the craft, Bach acquired a whole new legion of fans who were completely obsessed with her character from the film. It seems like Ted Allen's favorite chopped trick to play is to give contestants a sweet, sticky food in an early round that they have to scramble to find a place for. Savory chocolate sauces are actually quite common and easy, and chopped chefs are well aware of that. I've had meetings with fans and letters and emails where, they tell me, Nancy really affected them deeply in their lives, Bach continued. They've been adding chilies to chocolate and calling it a mole for years now. Some fans even referred to her character as their spirit animal and explained that she'd helped them get through difficult moments. Thanks to the film's cult status, Bach has become an icon for multiple generations. But as far as those fruity, sweet confections go, the recipes aren't as simple. It turns out, if you're not actually competing on Chopped, there really isn't any reason to melt down your candy into some sort of salad dressing or marinating liquid. There was a mom and she had a daughter and then she had a daughter and they were all dressed up as Nancy, Bach recalled, adding, that's a trip. Feruza Bach made a name for herself as a voice actor after finding success as a child star and then a young actress, Feruza Bach found even more success as a voice actress. Instead, consider this tried and true recipe for candy that we swear by, open the candy bag, and then eat the candy. Her first voice role came in 1999 on the hugely popular show Family Guy. Much better, right? Chopped made you believe the lie that you can make a risotto in under 20 minutes actually, the chopped chefs might be onto something here. According to an article by Kitchen, the perfect risotto will take only 18 and a half minutes. But that leaves less than 90 seconds for preparation and plating, which, even for a home cook seems next to impossible. Bach voiced the character Connie D'Amico in her first two appearances on the show, although the role was taken over by Lisa Wilhoit. In 2002, Bach played the voice of Mercedes Cortez in the video game Grand Theft Auto, Vice City. Then, in 2003, she voiced Penny in Justice League and Lady Talak in the video game Lords of EverQuest. Sure, risotto may only take 15 to 40 minutes, but it seems like chopped chefs are consistently working overtime with their risottos, 
then serving the judges unfinished, dry, or even crunchy risotto. What's the fastest way to get yourself kicked off chopped? Well, other than accidentally serving the judges blood or raw chicken, it's serving something severely, almost inedibly undercooked. Avoid the risk and fuss entirely as a home chef by giving yourself plenty of time to cook a risotto. Best case scenario, you're done in 18 and a half minutes. Worst case, your dinner guests can wait for you to finish the dish. Chopped made you believe the lie that meat doesn't need to be salted in advance One of the first things most people learn as home cooks is that you have to salt your meat as far as 24 hours in advance. Two years later, she voiced three characters in What Is It? A little-known surrealist film by Crispin Glover. After this two- or three-year stint working mainly behind the mic as a voice actor, Bach returned to more on-screen roles. Meat can be dense, tough, and low in moisture. It's hard to say why her voice acting career was so short-lived, but it's clear that the actress met with a lot of success in the short period that she did take on some voice roles. Here's why Feruza Bach stepped back from acting in her late 20s after starring in The Craft. Feruza Bach went on to appear in a number of other films and TV shows, including Almost Famous, The Waterboy, and American History X. While she continued acting, she largely stepped away from doing press events. It needs time for the salt to move through fatty membranes and provide flavor from the inside out. But chopped contestants don't have hours, they have minutes. So, if they are working with a large slab of sirloin or a whole chicken, they need to butcher the meat or poultry into smaller pieces in order for the salt to absorb faster. As Bach explained to the Los Angeles Times, this wasn't altogether an accident. This isn't a skill restaurant or home cooks necessarily need to learn. In my late 20s I stepped away from doing a lot of press because people just kept taking my words and rearranging them the wrong way and just depicting me as this crazy bad girl and it just really got old, Bach revealed. Bach went on to explain that she didn't really feel cut out for the world of Hollywood. Instead, they tend to prepare meats the night before, allowing the salt to really soak into a cut of meat. For this reason, chopped contestants have a bad habit of under or over salting their food. It's not because they don't know how to season correctly, it's because in the limited time frame Chopped allows, the seasoning game is a whole different story. Chopped made you believe the lie that every chef needs a tragic backstory One of the reasons Chopped is as popular and beloved as it is may be that some of the contestants seem to have such intense, moving, and even tragic backstories. For instance, Chopped contestant Hepla was placed on a raft and sent out to sea by her mother as a refugee of the Vietnam War and went on to start a successful restaurant. Or Nong Poonsukwatana, a Thai food truck owner who specialized in the simple dish of chicken and rice and managed to pull off a chopped victory using her cooking skills. These stories are inspirational and make for great television, but you don't need a long and difficult backstory to make great food. You just need access to the proper ingredients in a kitchen. Some of the elements of that game are things I just couldn't do, she continued. So while cooking can be a great way to work through past trauma or make a living without a traditional school education, it's also a great hobby for the rest of us who never end up competing on Chopped. Chopped made you believe the lie that cooking must be a competitive sport sure, on Chopped, cooking is a competition, and it's a cutthroat one at that. But cooking, as it turns out, is fun even when it's not a competitive sport. Cooking is also a great date idea, be it a first date, a night in with your spouse, or a hang with a new friend. Food delivery service HelloFresh agrees, cooking is the perfect pair activity. This is because cooking gives you something to do and something to talk about so there are no awkward silences. Eventually, the pressures of the acting world began to threaten her well-being and mental health. It can also be a low-cost, low-maintenance date idea, way more economical than expensive concert tickets or a five-star restaurant. For Bach, the obsession with her career meant that she had compromised other aspects of her life. Plus, at the end of the activity, you get to share a meal together, and what's better than that? In the worst-case scenario of a cooking date, the food turns out bad, and then you've got yourself a great story to tell your future children someday. Chopped made you believe the lie that Ted Allen as intimidating celebrities are just like the rest of us. At a certain point, you have to remember that there is life outside of, get the job, do the job, Bach added. Feruza Bach became interested in a range of other art forms when Feruza Bach realized that her acting career was taking over other elements of her life, she stepped back and turned her focus to other artistic projects. And yes, even Food Network celebrities are just like us.
While he may be known on Chopped for his quick wit, ruthless hosting, and excellent chopping block unveiling skills, Ted Allen is actually a pretty nice guy. And he's a relatable guy too. For instance, Ted Allen reportedly loves cheese, sushi, and Indian food. I started looking into and spending more time on other art forms that I really enjoy and I'm far happier for it, she shared in an interview with the Los Angeles Times. He's a fan of simple ingredients, like vanilla and mustard, and he loves silly things, like the sound hole chicken in a can, a now famous chopped ingredient, makes when it plops out of the can, according to a Food Network interview. Alan can keep up his stern and intimidating persona on Chopped all he wants, but at the end of the day, he seems like a generally down-to-earth guy with a love for food, gardening, and music. Chopped hosts, they're just like us. Chopped made you believe the lie that you can cook a dish in 20 minutes without any help whatsoever as it turns out, even the Chopped chefs have a little help when it comes to getting those meals churned out before Ted Allen announces that time is up. To that end, the actress began to spend her time painting, writing, making music, and creating mixed-media projects. During the 2020 pandemic, Bach also spent more time with her father, who had suffered from some health issues. During that time, Bach explored even more forms of art. He is a multi-talented artist, he does a million different things, Bach said of her father. Apparently, he taught her silversmithing and goldsmithing. Apparently, simple kitchen prep tasks are already completed for the chopped contestants, helping them get through their cooking projects more quickly. For example, chopped contestants do not need to wait for their pot of water to boil. I've been up there in the mountains learning how to work with metal, she continued. We're getting into blacksmithing and it's amazing. Wow, sounds like she really has been delving into loads of new art forms. Feruza Bach spent her time away from acting enjoying the natural world in addition to experimenting with new art forms, Feruza Bach has used her time away from acting to connect with nature. Production assistants behind the Food Network show help them out by starting each contestant off with a pot of boiling water, especially because the judges are not exactly assisting contestants on their ability to boil water, it does make sense. Additionally, chopped contestants' ovens are already preheated to 350 degrees when the round starts, for pretty much the same reason. Waiting for an oven to preheat does not really test how well contestants can cook. By the looks of things, the natural world is one of her greatest passions. In 2019, Bach set off on a springtime road trip across America. All the wild flowers are blooming and it's all so green, she wrote on Twitter. Georgia has entire miles of purple wisteria that's grown up the trees. Additionally, Bach's Instagram is filled with odes to the natural world. In February of 2020, she posted a close-up picture of a tulip, writing, the inner private universe of a tulip. Plus, a bunch of chopped contestants sitting around playing on their phones and waiting for their ovens to preheat would not exactly make for great television. When the time comes for you to make something in your kitchen, you shouldn't assume that you can manage to get dinner on the table in 20 minutes if you're doing much else other than making pasta. Chopped made you believe the lie that cooking a full chopped meal does not take very long a chopped episode is only 40 minutes long, so you may think that the filming process is a relatively quick process. Fascinating nature everywhere. It's lovely to see that box time off has given her the space to appreciate nature. Furthermore, when the young Bach was interviewed for the Washington Post as part of the promotion for Return to Oz, she expressed her love of animals, and that hasn't changed. Bach now has her own rescue cat named Turtle, also called Tugs. But filming these episodes actually takes way longer, like up to 14 hours. Even though Chopped is a lightning-fast cooking competition show, production aspects including preparation, cooking, judging, Cleaning, and resetting stations make shooting an episode a full day affair, and an exhausting one at that. As she wrote on Instagram, she is quite brilliant, very clever, inquisitive, and I love her more every day. How sweet. Feruza Bach records music under the name Armed Love Militia since 2016. Feruza Bach has been recording and releasing her own music on Bandcamp under the artistic name Armed Love Militia. In 2019, Bach released an EP with three songs, including the song, White Lilies, which she wrote as a duet with her friend Mel Sanson. Even though the actual cooking is timed on a really tight schedule, judging can take way longer than television episodes depict, especially if two judges have a particularly heated disagreement over a dish. 
It just goes to show that even the greatest chefs in America cooking on one of the tightest time constraints on television can still, through no fault of their own, take a long time to get the whole meal done. Feroce reviewed the song, writing, in a nutshell the track is down to earth, mellow, and every aspect of the track is beautifully defined. For Bach, the folk song tells the story of someone mourning a lost love. As she put it, they are, eternally searching for them through eternity, calling out to them through song like a siren to try and find them again, to be reunited. In the end, Bach was pleased with the song, even though it took eight years to record. This felt beyond right and it was like breathing a huge sigh of relief that it was finally done, she said. It's clear that making music is an important creative outlet for Bach. As she wrote on Twitter, it's exposing your soul, your true inner heart. In 2020, Feruza Bach reprised her role from The Craft when a sequel of The Craft came along in 2020. Fans were thrilled to discover that the original Nancy would be making an appearance. For Feruza Bach, deciding whether to return to the world of The Craft wasn't easy. As she told Entertainment Weekly, when she was initially approached about a sequel by producer Jason Bloom, her response had been, A, I don't know. However, when Bach met the director, Zoe Lister-Jones, she was sold by her idea to make the film about, women supporting women as opposed to women fighting women. For Bach, this signified a shift from the first film, which changed her mind. Lister-Jones also spoke to Entertainment Weekly, and explained why having Bach on board was so important. Nancy is everything. She is the craft to me, she shared. In the film, set 20 years after the events of the first movie, Nancy is living in an insane asylum. It is revealed that she is the mother of the central character. Feruza Bach's acting career is still going strong, with roles in Ray Donovan and Paradise City even though Feruza Bach is open about having taken a step back from acting, she certainly hasn't given it up altogether. In 2015, she took on a recurring role in season 3 of Showtime's Ray Donovan, via Collider. At the time, Bach was thrilled to be a part of the series. I'm going to be on Ray Donovan and I'm really looking forward to it, she gushed on Twitter. Great cast on this show. Bach played Ginger in the show, a sex worker who befriended Mickey, via Digital Spy. In 2020, fans learned that Bach would also be appearing in the series Paradise City as Lizzie Thomas. The show also stars Andy Beersock, Bella Thorne, and Cameron Boyce. According to the first official trailer, the series deals with, rock star with ties to the occult. Black magic in Hollywood? Sounds right up Bach's alley. By the looks of things, we'll be seeing plenty more of Bach on our screens in the future. Feruza Bach hopes to keep acting in the future even though Feruza Bach stepped back from acting in the early 2000s, she certainly hasn't given up the profession altogether. In fact, her 2020 roles in The Craft, Legacy in Paradise City might just be the beginning of a serious comeback. Acting, hopefully, I'll be able to do for the rest of my life, she shared in an interview with the Los Angeles Times. She added that while she's definitely slowed down, she's really just become more selective in choosing parts. It sounds like Bach's future roles will have to be worthwhile if they're going to make the cut. Apparently, we might even get to see more of Bach as Nancy from The Craft in the future. According to Entertainment Weekly, the film's director, Zoe Lister-Jones, has toyed with the idea of creating another sequel. When asked if she'd be interested, Bach was non-committal, saying she'd do it, if it would be a challenge and something fun. Let's hope the third installment of The Craft gives Bach a version of Nancy she can't refuse.